First of all, we are going to start with the pattern making process. For that, you will need to take some measurements for your kimono. I will give you some tips and advice so you can do it easily. Let's do this! Before drawing the pattern, we need to take some measurements. Take one of your t-shirts, tops or cardigans to help you measure your neckline and your waist. Make sure the clothes you are choosing are not tight, otherwise your kimono will be tight. Once you choose it, place it flat and measure like I did vertically and horizontally. Now measure from one side to another to define your waist. To measure the length of the sleeves, place your measuring tape in the middle of your neck and measure passing through your shoulders to where you want your sleeves to be. I decided to go for 30 cm for the sleeves width, but you can do it wider or thinner, it's up to you. And it's the same for the height of your kimono, you can do it shorter or longer. To measure the height, Place your measuring tape from the base of your neck and drop it towards your heel. Stay straight and measure to where you want it to be. Now we can start drawing the pattern. Here we are going to draft the half of the front and the back pattern. For the front, start by drawing a straight line that will be the measurement of your sleeve length. Then draw a perpendicular line like this and it will be the height of your kimono. Then, draw the width of the sleeve and the perpendicular bottom line will be half the size of your waist because we measured the full waist and here we are drafting the half of your front and back kimono. Makes sense, right? Okay, good, let's continue. Earlier, we measured the necklines. Take the horizontal measurement and divide it by two and indicate it like this. In the bottom, measure 5 cm away from the edge and draw a line. This will be for your collar. For the back, do the same drawing, but instead of having a line for the front facing, we will draw the neckline. For that, take the two measurements of the neckline Divide them by two and illustrate them like this to draw your neckline. For the front and the back, add one centimeter seam allowance around your pattern, except for the middle back and the bottom. The seam allowance for the bottom will be two centimeters for the hem. If you want, you can draw a curvy line under the sleeves. Now, we need to prepare the pattern for the collar, the sleeve bands and the belt. The belt is optional though. For those patterns, we will sketch the half of each so you can cut into the folds to have the full length. Let's start with the collar. Take the half measurements of your neckline and add the length that you chose earlier for the height of your kimono. This will be the half size of your collar. I like when the collar is a little bit thick so I want to measure 5 cm in width. As the collar will be folded and sewed, we need to multiply by 2 and add 1 cm seam allowance on each side. Which means, for a 5 cm thickness collar, we need a piece of fabric of 12 cm wide. For the sleeve band, I want the same width as the collar, so the pattern will be 32 cm if you follow the same size sleeve as mine by 12 centimeters. Here we already counted the seam allowance. For the belt, I also took the same width and the length it's up to you. Once our pattern is ready, you can cut out all your piece of fabrics. Before starting the sewing process, make sure to overlook around all your pieces except the neckline of your back piece. Mm -hmm. 
Then place your back piece right side up and your two front pieces on top right side down. Align by the shoulders and pin the shoulders and the sides. Now you can sew where you pinned one centimeter from the edge. I cut some notches where it's curvy under the arms. Be careful to not cut the stitches. Now take your collar, band sleeve and belt pieces. Iron all the pieces in half right side up. Once you've done all the ironing, place the color piece like this, pin all around and sew. Now sew the edges of the sleeve bands and once that's done, place it like this to assemble it with the sleeves. Pin and sew on both sides. For the belt, sew all around the open edges, but leave an opening so you can turn it right side up. Iron the belt. Once the belt is nice and flat, you can top stitch here. To hem, fold the bottom twice by one centimeter, iron and sew. Et voilà! I'm so happy to share this sewing project with you guys and I would love to see your kimonos. You can send me a picture of your sewing projects or you can use the Goose and Designs hashtag and I will make sure to check it out. See you next week!